going to going to Pennsylvania to declare how energy friendly they are, which is complete garbage. Andre Beliveau is the senior manager of energy policy at the Commonwealth Foundation. He joins me now. Andre, nice to see you this morning. Look, uh, they can say what they want. They can try to, to, to whitewash it. They can paper it over. She said she would stop fracking. She said she would stop drilling. She said she would destroy the American energy sector. She meant it. I don't know why anybody even thinks that's a good idea, but the Democrats seem to. You can't run from the things that she has said. I mean, you just can't, can you? I mean, I think that's right. No amount of uh, flip-flopping is going to change the record of the Biden-Harris administration of the last uh, four years, I mean, which has included everything from a, a ban on LNG exports, uh, the IRA subsidies, which has been horrible to flood our energy markets with just uh, weather-dependent, unreliable energy sources. Uh, and then, of course, the Biden EPA's uh, emissions caps, this, uh, this draconian policy to cap our, our coal and natural gas facilities at, at 90 percent. Uh, it's just one bad policy after the other. So I think uh, no matter uh, how much flip-flopping Kamala Harris wants to do, uh, the record of the last four years is quite clear. Yeah, she is anti-energy. She is anti-pipeline. Apparently, she'd like to have what energy we have shipped down the roads in 18-wheelers because that's safer or on railroad cars because remember that town in quebec that burned up 10 years ago yeah because that's safer i mean these are just foolish policies america runs on vast quantities of cheap energy anything short of that will bankrupt this country anything short of that will bankrupt this country and leave us uh, at the mercy of china and other nations but it almost feels like that's the policy doesn't it well, I mean, especially when, again, like through the IRA subsidies and this push towards so-called green energy, which, by the way, any energy source, whether it's especially these green, so-called green energy sources with the wind turbines and uh, solar panels, you need uh, carbon emitting sources to make those uh, to, to make those types of energy sources. But they uh, I mean, most of the solar panels in the world come from China. Uh, so it just seems like they're just, uh, you know, handing over, uh, you know, a blank check to to China to give us all these solar panels, and we're going to pay more for this so-called green energy, and it's going to be unreliable. America is going to be experiencing rolling blackouts. We are heading towards a grid reliability crisis that the Biden-Harris administration's policies are certainly helping to expedite. It absolutely makes more sense. Why would you pay more for less reliable energy when we have the ability here in the United States to deliver affordable, clean and reliable energy. I mean, they say Pennsylvania is the Saudi Arabia of North America. We have the answer to our energy problems in this country if only government will get out of the way, get draconian regulations out of the way, and if progressives will start stop pushing green New Dealism down everyone's throats, we might actually have a success story for American energy independence and security. Well, and you know, we had a success story. We were energy independent. We were, look, if Europe needs natural gas, they don't need to buy it from Russia. They don't need to buy it from anybody except the United States of America. Of Absolutely. course, when we try to export energy, we get blocked. When Canada then wants to export energy, they say, hey, we'll do it for you. And who keeps all the money? Canada keeps all the money, right? I mean, these are certainly America last policies, if I've ever, <laughs> if I've ever heard of them. And again, they, I think some of these policies, I think people do have good intentions. But the truth of the matter is, is that these policies just do not work. They will deliver absolutely nothing uh, of any sort of positive benefits for our natural environment, but do everything to destroy our economic environment. What we need is to prioritize reliable and affordable energy. We have the ability to do that in the United States. We know that. We know the things we also need to do to unlock that. Things like permitting reform, things like not not stopping natural gas production. We need greater natural gas infrastructure. And oh, by the way, especially in states, energy producing states like Pennsylvania, those are incredibly popular policies. The majority of Pennsylvania voters want to see natural gas expansion. They want to see responsible uses of their natural resources. They don't want to see Green New Deal style policies. They don't want to see the regional greenhouse gas initiative that Governor Shapiro is now fighting to keep Pennsylvania in uh, in the courts. These are unpopular policies. So not only are these, again, supposed green policies, not only are they bad policies uh, economically and for families and businesses, but they're also unpopular. Which brings me back to how can Kamala Harris sit here and, and well, you know, they're politicians, I get this, look at us straight in the eye and lie to us. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I, I believe in energy independence. I believe in drilling. I believe in fracking. I and, and, the, and there's a whole list of other things, too. I don't want to confiscate your guns. I, I want a secure border. You know, the borders are, and everything that follows from there on is an abject lie, Andre.
Uh, let me give you the last word here. You got about 30 seconds. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think uh, energy is going to be a top priority, I think, for a lot of voters across the country, but especially in important swing states like Pennsylvania. And I think any candidate that wants to be successful is, is going to actually have to deliver on American energy independence and security. And it's going to have to be more than just words. The actions speak louder than words. And I think for certain people, that's, uh, you know, that's still yet to be seen. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Andre Beliveau, senior manager, energy policy at the Commonwealth Foundation. We'll keep an eye on who the running mate is. Is it gonna be Governor Walls? Is it gonna be uh, Senator Kelly? Could it still be Governor Shapiro? I doubt it, but I guess we'll find out. Andre, thank you for being here. Thank you. All right, there you have it. Terrible policies, just awful policies. They, they really, really are.